government moves to upgrade educational facilities, President's Charities Foundation nears U.S. $100,000 target, and the telecoms director deems ICT training at the Center for Excellence invaluable. Thank you for joining us on National Focus. I'm Kredisha St. Louis. And I'm Mervyn Matthews. Stay with us for details of the headline stories and others after this. Think water. Think life. Water refreshes, restores, cleans, and enhances growth. Potable water is a benchmark for development. Dewasco is serious about its mandate to ensure easy access to potable water island-wide and provide sewage services for a cleaner environment. Dewasco is your water and sewage company. Thanks for staying with us. The Roosevelt Scarred Administration continues to take action to improve the educational facilities across the island. The Dominica leader, speaking on focus on government and development last week, gave details of some of the upgrades planned for the island schools. We are making efforts to do this, the second phase of the grammar school. We have to address frontally the conditions of the Google Secondary School and we have given Ministry of Education very clear instructions. To, to commence the, the designs for the Goodloe Secondary School and to build this school once and for all. You know, we've been talking about it for some time and we really need to, 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 to stop the talking and get it done, you know. Um, the continued enhancement of the PSS, you know, and the several primary schools, Kalibishi, Thibault, um, we have to address, you know, um, Tetmon, the Tetmon roof and, and improving the, uh, the ambience of the schools. The number of schools that we have to we have to improve. Colio, as you said, is, is, is ongoing. Uh, we have approved the funds for, for Kuli Bistri and, and, and so forth. Contracts were approved for that school. Uh, so the number of, of, um, of schools that will receive a, a major facelift um, for the new school year. In more news, the Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt continues to appeal to nationals to keep the island clean. Honorable Skerritt repeated the call last week on focus on government and development with Mervyn Paul. The Dominica leader is especially concerned about poor waste disposal practices, which is affecting the overall image of the capital city. Every one of us has a responsibility to keep Dominica clean and beautiful. We cannot leave it to solid waste to be responsible for keeping Dominica clean. You know, the waste management must begin at the home. You understand? The sorting of the, of the waste must be done at the home. You know, and the packaging of the garbage and so forth. In, in Rosa, we're battling with the private sector, for example, that there's scheduled times to put your garbage out. People are, are, are you almost interpret it now, it has been done deliberately. Where people are putting out at, 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 at odd times. And you put out garbage, at a time when you know you have a cruise ship in port. And then so tourists can't walk on the sidewalk because people put all the, all, all the garbage on, 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 side, on side of the road. The dogs get in it because you put it at the wrong time. You see, and people, we have, to, we have to be mindful of those things. The President's Charities Foundation Tropical Storm Erica Subcommittee is close to reaching its U.S. $100,000 target meant to aid the affected families and assist with the reconstruction of the Coliho and Coolibee Street Primary Schools. Tropical Storm Erica in 2015 dealt Dominica a massive blow with the losses of over $1 billion impacting the lives of nearly all the island's residents. The President's Charities Foundation, in an effort to help carry the burden of the losses, created the Tropical Storm Erica Subcommittee. The President's Charities Foundation hosted its 13th annual fundraising dinner on Saturday, July 16th. His Excellency the President, Charles Savare, presided over the event. Thanks to the support of Mr. Ron Hartford, Chairman of the Republic Bank of Trinidad, Muske headed a fundraising effort in Trinidad, and on the urging of Mr. Julius Corbett, General Manager of the Aid Bank, the St. George's Dominican Lodge, on the urgings of Mr. Hilkiah Lavinier, Range Developments, Boston for Dominica Committee, Eastern Caribbean Metal Industries of St. Vincent and Cronax Rabo Limited of England on the urgings of Mr. Antoine Raffour and the contributions of some local contributors such as the Aid Bank, HHV Witch Church and Company Limited, Flo, Mr. Duncan Stowe, Mr. Antoine Raffour and family. We have been able to raise 
$176,492 of the $270,000 target we have set ourselves. On Monday, the President's Charities Foundation presented the Ministry of Education with a check of $60,000 for the development of a multi-purpose hard court at the Kulibi Street Primary School. The President also outlined other contributions to the schools thus far. We have so far made a donation of 58 gallons of season's paint to the Ministry of Education, which was donated by ANSA Coatings Limited of Trinidad through the efforts of Mr. Antoine Raful, the local agent for season paints, for the painting of the Kolehu School. We have ordered 65 desks and chairs for the students, five desks and chairs for the teachers, and five cupboards from China for the Kolehu School, and will be replacing the doors and windows of that school. The president revealed that after renovation of both schools, the remaining funds will be focused on the Grotto Home for the Homeless and Operation Youthquake. It stands to reason that there is more that needs to be done at the Grotto Home and Operation Youthquake than available funds would allow us to do. This is a not too subtle appeal to you to assist us, to assist those two charitable organizations in whatever way you are able to. The President's Charities Foundation usually raises funds in support of work at some 17 charities on Ireland. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. Introducing the Government of Dominica Internal Directory mobile app. Available for download from the Google Play Store, One Mobile Market, and the Government of Dominica's website. Access to all ministries and sub-departments phone, email and office addresses and websites. Simply select a ministry and the sub-department. You can dial directly from the app or save the numbers to your phone contacts. It's convenience at your fingertips. Is my passport ready for pickup? Good. It really works. Download the Government of Dominica Internal Directory mobile app today. Welcome back. His Excellency the President of Dominica, Charles Savoy, has extended condolences to the President and people of the French Republic on the death of hundreds over the past 18 months, most recently 84 in Nice. His Excellency shared his words of sympathy at the 13th Annual President's Charities Foundation fundraising dinner on Saturday. Permit me, nevertheless, to take a moment to express our condolences to the President and people of the French Republic and to the family and friends of the 84 persons who were killed and the 200 plus persons who were injured in a most horrific act of terrorism in the Mediterranean city of Nice. This is the third mass casualty act of terrorism which the French people have had to endure in the last 18 months. We also extend our sympathies to the government and people of Martinique and Guadeloupe, who are our closest neighbors in the Caribbean and who are also French citizens. Information Communication Technology, ICT, has a larger role to play in the development of a country. This is according to Director of Telecommunication, Bennett Thomas. Thomas was speaking during a discussion on Wednesday at GIS Studios on the ICT Center for Excellence. Dominica, we have a lot of, our, the critical factor here is our young people. Okay. And we, the infrastructure we have, we are working to, together to the, in the ministry to develop the ICT sector in Dominica. Mm -hmm. we are, as you have heard, the ICT is critical to the development of any country, particularly for world countries. How so? Because every sector of society needs IT. Mm -hmm. We need to improve services, we need to improve the efficiency of how things are done, we need to have a quicker way of delivering things to people. And IT is simply a platform or an enabler that helps okay. bind all things together. We have worked on the, we have looked, we have looked at the, the, the Dominican State okay. College and have is teaching basic IT courses. We're looking in education. There is we had about e-education. Right. How to have online services. You need IT technology to develop that thing. 
you have telemedicine in health people are talking about health yeah. services you can sit down here and you can log in a doctor can stay in his office and log into the hospital and do an x-ray just like this got it we have students who oh, have, who have their books we have in agriculture we want to develop applications for agriculture yeah. in 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 justice and immigration we have the whole issue of cyber security mm -hmm. all these different areas need it the Center for Excellence was officially opened on Friday, June 3, 2016, five years after the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding between Dominica and the Republic of India in October 2011. Thomas noted that it is critical that young people take advantage of the ICT training opportunities. The government of Dominica has always been focused on how we can get our young people to develop their own enterprise. Sure. Here's an opportunity where you can use up the, the services at the state at the center of excellence to develop your own entrepreneurial skills sure. as yeah. you said before too many times people are looking towards getting the government to give them a job you are now in a position where the government has provided a facility where you can come there come within a few months and get certain your hands wet mm -hmm. and go there open your own business Lecturer responsible for ICT at the Dominica State College, Veron Nicholas, says the ICT training to begin at the Center for Excellence is also important for persons who wish to further develop their portfolio. There are a lot of persons within the system administration sec section and they may not have gone over and studied or anything, so they have honed their skills just by simply working every day. Mm -hmm. These persons can take advantage of these courses. It will help them and they will have some credit level of credentials that they can use to move on further, change their job description, um, increase their salary quotes, mm -hmm. things like mm -hmm. that. So it's important for everybody to take advantage of these courses. She encouraged the general public to support the center. There are a lot of young Dominicans who are actually working in a lot of um, technology um, institutions within America, within the U, um, UK and so on. So if we have this capacity out there, then we must have it in here as well. Sure. So we need to em ensure that we improve what we have here, the persons that we have here, and they can take advantage of it. Now, we also have a lot of online um, jobs available. Right. And persons in certain sectors know about this, but there are a lot more persons who do not know. And it would be good if these young persons take advantage of these online job or job opportunities and they you know increase their, their capacity. Now there's one more area that is especially um, useful to a lot of young people and it's animation. Mm -hmm. I remember when we visited Jamaica about two years ago, there was a huge need for animators. The, 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 it, it, it's, that area is lacking in Jamaica and they were looking for persons with animation skills. Okay. Right? I mean, that's just two years ago. Uh, would they have filled that capacity? Not yet. And I believe there was some level of training that took place about, f maybe I think about 400 persons were trained in animation. That in Jamaica, there was a project along that line. Okay. So which means that Dominica should try to take advantage of that. Uh, following the discussion, GIS's Kadisha St. Louis spoke with Director of Telecommunications, Bennett Thomas, who shared more on the ICT Center for Excellence. So we are here with Mr. Bennett Thomas, Director of Telecoms, who is going to tell us a little bit about the Center of Excellence we've been hearing so much about in Dominica. So Mr. Thomas, can you give us a little background information briefly on how the Center of Excellence came into being? Yes, yeah, sometime. Well, thanks again for having me here. Sometime in 2007, I, I was informed that there had been moves by the government of Dominica to help develop the sector and to create a center of excellence in information technology to facilitate young people's development and capacity building. And in 2011, the present Minister of Telecommunication, Mr. Honorable Kelva Dairu, at that time Minister of, in the, in the Ministry of, in the Prime Minister's Office, responsible for telecommunication, ICT, he signed an MOU on behalf of the government of Dominica, and an MOU is a memorandum of understanding, to develop and establish a center of excellence in information technology. And in June of this year, June 3rd, we officially launched the center of excellence. So that was a dream come true for him. Okay. So what is the overall objective of having the center of excellence as it relates to us here in Dominica? The purpose of the, of the an objective of the center is to create the necessary capacity for persons to understand the, the, the role 
of technology, how to develop applications, mm -hmm. not just basic applications, but more advanced applications. We the, the, the center will, will focus on helping persons to create employment for their own for themselves, being young entrepreneurs, uh, develop their capacity in the area of creating efficiencies within their services. How do you how do you make your, your business more efficient? How do we use ICT and other associated disciplines to enhance the, product, the productivity of your business, as well as young persons can use it for employment to create their own jobs. Okay, so what type of courses are you all hoping to We have to a number of have. courses here. We have um, project management, which is very important in any environment, whether it is information technology or not. There is project management, there is graphic design, there is Java application and development, there is IT management, there is Cisco routing, we have database management, and uh, uh, there are well over, over, over 10, 15 courses that you can participate in. And we are asking persons to come to the center next Friday, Thursday and Friday, the 28th and 29th, so that they can have an, an appreciation and orientation period to cover all the courses. And later in the program, I give you some, some numbers and email addresses. Okay, so you told them, you're telling people to come, but you, can, you didn't tell us where the Center of Excellence the Center is located. The Center of Excellence is located at, in the upper section of the Dominica State College. Right, and I know you said before that it's not just the government, it's a collaboration between the government of, of India. So what would you say that this means for Dominica to make such a huge collaboration? It is critical for the, for, again, for the development of IT and the IT sector in Dominica. We have a number of young persons living in schools and they are very bright people developing apps and training computer science, IT, and they can use that, uh, that additional um, training to develop uh, their skills to home in a specific area that they want to do, especially graphic design, web designing, all those are critical, database managers, security managers. Oh, they are, they are, this, the, the center is there as a a complement mm -hmm. to the existing state college where they teach those things. Okay, would you say that it is part of government's long-term goal for basically technology in Dominica? Yes, because in fact the government has what is known as, you have heard about the e-government initiative, e-government program, where we use digital portals to expose government services to people, for example, the civil registry system, mm -hmm. uh, e-education. We have you heard the Ministry of Education speaking about Next year, within January 2017, they're going to have um, all um, exams online. Right. We need to have the infrastructure in place to facilitate that. They, they, you have to have the tablets in the schools and so forth to help those things. Who are specific centers, the development of telecenters, the development of the infrastructure to facilitate those things. So it is all of government's long-term plan, and that center will be used as a as a training ground to build up the capacity of people. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up, Mr. Thomas? Yes, I just want to make sure that not as many persons as possible take part in the um, participate in the center. We have a trainer of trainers where we are, going, we are going to be training persons locally so that when the Indians leave, they will take over the training. So there will be a trainer of trainers program which will begin from August 2nd to sometime maybe in September, October. And there's also going to be a training of persons in the various fields so we are asking as many young persons and young professionals and entrepreneurs as possible to join in, come, participate, because this is for the development of the America. All right, thank you very much. Right. And that's the English news. Mark Wilson St. Louis is up next with the Creole highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. No moi, c'est Mark Wilson St. Louis. Premièrement, travail pour y bâtir by Pass St. Joseph. Là, il y a un cap en place. Parole sans la sortie de mon parlement, honorable Kelva Daru. Gouvernement Dominique a dépensé un lot d'argent à ses affaires pour échimer en Dominique. Erika, tu as fait plus de dommages à la place là. Ça, c'est en um, West Coast Road là. Là, où là, où passe là, où là, 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 it can be done with two hot bypass. Sala. So, Ministry of Public Works Maintenance Crew, you need a contract to make the bypass uh, concrete. Please, you can serve the bypass sala. No, day to a month. Uh, so, you can do a good job for the people who can pass it. Because there is a lot of transport that can pass it. So, you can do a good job to enhance the bypass. Sala. So, let's um, 
la pli tombe. Moun ki ka pase la, et puis voit yo, yo pa ni pou ale en tout, et puis tout, et puis tout. Si nou ka al fe un bon surface dressing la, pou facilite um, voit yo le, le ka pase. A la nouvel konstituenti gwan fok a benefite yon on program, pou l'utilisation program pou l. La wol se la ka sorti yon man paliman, honorable Ivo Stevenson. Yo konstitui yon ok pou leve um, broilers. Now, ça c'est un de ces modèles là, nous n'y a pas hier. Et puis, à grand fond, nous tapons un petit caille là, un caille qui a servi plus à ces young mill, young mill um, poultry. Et puis, nous, ça nous a eu déjà, c'est ça, six, um, six mille japonais déjà. Là, il y a des cas, bah c'est mon, il y a là qui est sélect pour pour um, pour bio training, pour qui mange pour lever lever ces poules là. Et puis, et pas ça tout seul, euh, dans ce monde-là, tout, en euh, même instant, il y a des catapés, des euh, lectures, en les qui manière, il y a aussi des poules là. Donc, il n'y a pas de cas garder ces poules là, et puis, oui, qui y a des bien, mais il y a des catapés, des lectures, au Moon State College, pour éduquer en les manières, il y a aussi des poules, des euh, poules. Dominica et Support Authority d'As Pony Wangement en place de Péros Université, qui a concerné la transportation pour étudier à eux. Si l'on general manager Ben Badwell, sa différent et puis wangement qui yon mette en place ka konsene WED a si bas avion Douglas Charles. Nou ni yon wangement et puis Ross University parce que yon kamen yon lou, yon lou an moun pou al l'ekol. Sa nou, ni nou wangement kante ni ni do twa taxi driver hor dan wantan se bise plasa. Evek yon ni yon agriman evek nou. Parce que si mon salaire, si si students là, Kevin, Dominique, y ont ni on on a bien mais c'est y ont Kevin à si bas savio, y ont capé on 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 prie, on permis pour on permis, pour y ont ça 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 fait service. Et avec ça c'est en règle parce que y ont ni on permis, y ont ni permission. Mais si on prend ni permission, on passe avec. Nous y ni l'hôtel Dominique qui also y ont ni on permis. Parce que ils ont permis, parce que ils ont reçu des gens, et ils ont envoyé des gens uh, dehors pour, pour, pour aller ressortir à ces vacances. Ils ont un agrément, et puis ils ont abandonné um, ces gens-là, ils ont un agrément pour, et avec, pour ces gens-là, ils ont payé les licences-là, les permis-là, pour ces gens-là, ce qui est un opérateur assez important. Et puis finalement, la banque-là, tu es par où, tu as bien complimenté le ministre de la Santé, pour manier là, tu as managé Zika en Dominique. Il y a une délégation qui a dominé pour conduire l'assessement, le management Zika ou en PA. Quand même, si l'on officier Dr. Fernando Lavandez, la délégation est bien pleine et puis dominée. Dr. Lavandez dit même si le PA fait bien et puis le management virus, il dominique a mérité l'assistance financière et puis technique pour continuer le management virus. Il dit que Dominique a un bon système épidémiologique, bagay qui a assisté Dominique pour manager l'épidémie ça Ça fait qu'à concerner l'épidémiologie, qu'à bien concerner le mauvais virus qu'on Zika. Mais mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nouvelle à Creole pour à présent. Non, moi c'est Mac Fossil saint Au revoir. And before we leave here, a few announcements. The Youth Development Division invites applications from suitably qualified people to fill the position of instructor construction skills in Marigot, computer literacy in Roseau and Portsmouth, garment manufacturing in Roseau, year styling in Lap Lane, woodwork at Dominica State Prison and pottery at the Dominica State Prison. Successful applicants will be contracted for three to four months and will be required to begin employment in September 2016. Applicants should be knowledgeable in the skill area and possess a certificate and or at least three years experience. Interested persons should apply to the permanent and Secretary, Ministry of Youth, Sports, Culture and Constituency Empowerment. Deadline for receipt of applications is Friday 22nd July 2016.
The Youth Development Division invites the general public to its Youth Skills Training Program and Youth Center Live Skills Open Day Activity on Thursday, July 21st, 2016 between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. The public and prospective employers are encouraged to visit and interact with the instructors and trainees and witness demonstration of the skills acquired by the Youth in Computer Literacy Training at Roseau, Grand Bay, Portsmouth, Wesley and Casabros Youth Centers and the Boat Making Module at the Casabros Youth Center. How can you ensure that you're getting enough sleep? You can be predictable, go to bed around the same time every night and try to follow a similar routine to prepare body and mind for sleep. Try not to toss and turn. If you can't sleep after 20 minutes, get out of bed and do something else. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash GIS News Dominica, and follow our Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. Live streaming is now available also on our YouTube channel. From all of us here on the news production team, I'm Moving Matthew. And I'm Kadisha St. Louis. Thanks for watching and join us again next time on National Focus.